Welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast with Jacob Ayers, providing actionable content to help you along your journey to financial freedom through real estate investing. As the premier asset class, real estate has helped ordinary people just like you amass fortunes. The benefits of passive income from real estate investing will allow you to live a life you want. And now your host, entrepreneur, real estate investor, and apartment deal syndicator, Jacob Ayers. Hi, and welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast. Hey, welcome back. I'm your host, Jacob Ayers. You are listening to Friday Fundamentals. Hey, I'm so glad you're here. This week's Friday Fundamental is pitching and negotiating. Every day you are pitching, selling, and negotiating. Yeah, you are. While you may not realize it, you are constantly vying to communicate your point to someone else. Present yourself in a certain way and so much more. Just the simple act of communication in your day-to-day life is a form of of pitching and selling. You communicate your thoughts to others in the form of a conversation or a podcast episode in this very moment, using your words to express your thoughts and feelings to someone else. Communication defined is to share or exchange information, news, or ideas. From your direct actions to your subconscious thoughts, you are constantly maneuvering so that you can affect the way you are perceived and influence others how you want. Now, this isn't a bad thing. We all do it. From political speeches to casual conversations with friends, the words we use are meant to communicate our points in shape others' thoughts. There are also nonverbal ways we pitch, sell, and negotiate. How you dress, your body language, your actions, how you listen, among many other factors, are ways you relay nonverbal cues to others. Now, you may be thinking, I don't have anything to pitch, sell, or negotiate. I'm not in sales. I'm not some high-profile defense attorney, etc. And while you may be right, nonetheless, you pitch, sell, and negotiate your biggest asset every single day. That is yourself. At work or in a professional setting, you probably dress professionally, speak more properly, and act in a certain manner respective to your location. Let's take that high-profile defense attorney, for example. You wouldn't expect him or her to walk in the courtroom to present the closing arguments, wearing a sports jersey with flip-flops and sunglasses, right? Well, you would especially hope not if you're the defendant being represented. But why not? Perhaps that attorney is well-prepared and has a solid defense put together. The reason is the attorney is selling him or herself as someone with status who is knowledgeable, respected, and takes their responsibility seriously. They are selling themselves first before they even pitch and negotiate to the jury the case at hand. Now, beyond your everyday casual interactions with others, there are many other scenarios when you need to pitch negotiate, and sell. From negotiating a raise at your job to making offers on investment properties, you must know how to frame conversations, listen to and guide the other person's thoughts and actions to create the outcomes you want. Pitching, selling, and negotiating are subjects that have been researched, studied, and written about in depth for many, many years. Now, I've personally found a few books and resources that I've found particularly valuable. 
They are One Pitch Anything by Oren Claff, a great book that talks about how to present and pitch ideas to an audience. Two, Never Split the Difference by FBI hostage negotiator Chris Voss. This is a great book on negotiating, understanding how to communicate with people in negotiations. I think it's really valuable for many people out there. And then lastly, three, Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone. This book talks about how every day you are selling yourself, just as we've talked about in this episode. Those are three great resources I'd recommend by checking out books, audiobooks, etc. on those. I've linked those in the show notes if you want to pick them up. Now, you have something that others want and need. Whether that's a bit of information that you know and someone else doesn't, to something you have learned from your experience, simply some words of encouragement, a solution you can provide for someone else, or a number of other things. It's up to you to be able to present those ideas, frame them in a way that you can easily communicate them, and ultimately persuade someone to take action. That's exactly what I am doing here on this podcast. By interviewing guests every week to providing little what I hope are valuable nuggets of information on Friday Fundamentals, I hope to provide the knowledge and motivation for you to achieve financial freedom, build the life you want, and help others do the same. Someone somewhere wants and needs what you have. It's up to you to find who, where, and how to provide that value. So I'll leave you with a quote by Robert Martinez, who was a guest on episode 252 that says, you either promote what you've got or you're demoting it. Well, hey, that wraps up Friday Fundamentals. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in this week. I'm so glad you're here. I know you're absolutely crushing your goals this year. It's February at the time of this recording of 2020. I'd love to hear how your year is going, what's going well for you, where you're falling off track. Feel free to reach out. I love talking with you. You can contact me at www.jacobairs.com. Well, hey, if you like this podcast, if you like this episode, please let me know by going over and leaving a rating and review on whichever platform you're listening on. For more information, resources, and to connect with me, you can do so at the website www.jacobayers.com. Till next week, engineer the lifestyle you want. You've been listening to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, providing you actionable content to build your real estate empire. Nothing on this show should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for personal advice. The opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have a potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom, LLC, exclusively.